Welcome to my channel. Today's topic is Contra Entry with Example. Okay, what is Contra Entry? Contra Entry means when two accounts involved in a transaction or cash account and bank account. Then both the aspects are entered in cash book as both the debit and credit aspects of a transaction are recorded in the same book that is in the cash book itself it is called contra entry it is denoted by the letter c in cash book okay let's see an example to understand contra entry supposing say if there is the transaction Cash withdrawn for official purpose from bank. Okay, what is the entry for this transaction? When you withdraw cash, what is coming in? Cash is coming in. That's why cash account is debited. As per the real account rule, debit what comes in. And now what happens when you withdraw cash from the bank? Bank is the giver. We have to credit the giver according to the personal account rule, credit the giver. Okay, now let's see another example. That is cash paid into bank. When you pay cash, what is happening? Bank is receiving. That's why bank account is debited and cash is going out. That's why cash account is credited. In other words, we can also say that cash account is credited because there is a decrease in asset. Okay, now what I wanted to say is that whenever you prepare triple column cash book, that is a cash book which has got on the debit side discount column, cash column and bank column. And on the credit side of cash book, there is also discount column cash column and bank column. So both the debit side and the credit side of cash book has got three columns that is discount column, cash column and bank column. Why I am saying this means, see the entry is bank account debtor to cash account. What will happen? So we will record this aspect that is this debit aspect on the debit side of cash book in bank column okay and we will record this credit aspect that is the cash account on the credit side of the cash book in the cash column okay what is compound entry when a journal entry has more than one debit or more than one credit or both it is called compound entry or it is a journal entry that involves more than two accounts. Let's see an example to understand what is compound entry. Now in this example received from ABC Limited the full and final settlement of their account rupees 10,000 allowed a discount of rupees 2,000. So, we are receiving from ABC Limited. When you receive, what will be the entry? Cash account is coming in. That is cash is coming in. So, we are going to debit cash account with amount of rupees 8000. We will see this amount later. First, we will see what is the entry. So, when you receive from ABC Limited, cash is coming in. That's why cash account is debited. As per the real account rule, debit what comes in. Then, we are receiving discount of rupees 2000. How we came to know this? They have clearly mentioned that. Received from ABC Limited, full and final settlement worth rupees 10,000. Allowed a discount of rupees 2000. They themselves have mentioned discount is allowed for rupees 2000. Okay. No, discount allowed account is debited with amount of rupees 2000. That means 
How much cash we are receiving? We are receiving only rupees 8,000 for 10,000 rupees. Because ABC Limited is receiving discount and we are allowing them discount. Discount allowed by us is an expense. According to the nominal account rule, we have to debit all expenses and losses. That's why this discount allowed account is debited. So the entry is cash account debtor, discount allowed account debtor to ABC Limited. Why ABC Limited? Because ABC Limited is the giver. We have to credit ABC Limited with rupees 10,000. Again, I repeat, when you receive cash from ABC Limited, we have to debit cash account as per the real account rule, debit what comes in. And discount allowed account is debited because it is an expense for us. But for ABC Limited, it is an income. Then ABC Limited is a giver. That's why ABC Limited account is credited. Now, what? why it is said that this is a compound entry? Because on the debit side, we have got two aspects. See, the more than one account. See, cash account and discount allowed. So, we have got two accounts on the debit side. Understood? We have got two accounts. on debit side it is called a compound entry or now let's see another example to understand very clearly in the above example two accounts are debited and one account is credited that's why it is a compound entry let's see that we are going to receive discount from mr x now who is the receiver here? Mr. X is the receiver. That's why Mr. X account is debited as per the personal account rule debit the receiver. Then we are paying cash. What is happening when we pay cash? Cash is going out. That's why cash account is credited as per the real account rule credit what goes out. Next one. Discount received is an income, isn't it? That's why discount received account is credited as per the nominal account rule, credit all incomes and gains. What I wanted to say is that on the debit side, we have got only one account that is Mr. X account. But on the credit side, we have got two accounts that is cash account and discount received account. So there is more than one account on the credit side more than two accounts credited on the credit side isn't it that's why this entry is called a compound entry or sometimes we even may have two accounts debited and two accounts credited it is also a compound entry hope you understood what is compound entry thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe